thought I would put some ideas into your mind about what Bodhisattva is. What someone who's dedicated their life to the divine. And um, in one of the books called The Mother of the Buddhas, there's just some of my favorite things in there about diamonds. The practitioners are called the invincible diamond beings. And, um, and it's because they have great love for the mother. And the mother is wisdom, praja paramita. And it's because of their great love that they make this irreversible commitment to enlightenment. So you have to take all of that inside you, of course. What is this part? To think of the diamond, to have that diamond part of yourself, that part that has great brilliance and luster, clarity and fire, and also tenderness. The practitioner needs tenderness. And then that ability or that desire to drink and assimilate the beautiful teachings. So these beings are filled with spiritual delight, boundless energy, confident serenity, And they're planting the selfless seeds of kindness. They fully and joyfully immerse themselves in the perfection of wisdom, fearlessly questioning, devotedly contemplating. And their intention is to care for, guide, elevate countless beings towards total awareness tenderly helping, sustaining them in every possible way to the amazing depths of unthinkability. So um, they also have this ability to listen with crystal clear attention that never grows weary of the wisdom teachings. So if you were going to set a goal for yourself, do any of those things appeal to you? Any of those characteristics? And to understand that that is available in everyone, that diamondness, that indestructible part. And when you've seen it in someone, like I saw it in Swami Radha, like just that ability to shine and to be clear and to be tender, to be firm and to be determined. And so that's what she passed on to us, was that we had those teachings. We have that, if you're attracted to the light and that fire and that clarity and brilliance of the light, somehow you're attracted to that diamond part of yourself. And can we find it? How do, how do you bring that idea of being a diamond being into distributing books free and <laughs> getting a center started and accepting gifts and dealing with all the problems. And then the, the reading that she cho chose for her last message came from a book called Krishna Alive. And it tells about how she saw her mission and it was complete. Krishna stepped down from the chariot and asked Arjuna to do the same. No sooner had Arjuna left the chariot when Krishna set it on fire. The chariot burned to ashes in a minute. 
Arjuna was shocked. He realized that he was very attached to his chariot and he could not understand why Krishna had done this. The chariot had served him well. He had used it to fight all his dreaded enemies. And now it was just a handful of ashes. Arjuna turned to Krishna and almost demanded an answer. The answer Krishna gave him is very significant for human life. Krishna said, Arjuna, this chariot has served its purpose. It has been the target of many enemies and has withstood the fury of all those who are against us. But because I was in the chariot with you, our enemies could do nothing. My presence prevented them from wielding their power and now it is all over. You do not need this chariot anymore and so I descend from it for the last time. The moment the chariot's purpose has been served, the chariot comes to an end and everything that has been created has a definite purpose and the moment the purpose is served, its destruction follows. That this is true of human beings too. Each of us is born to achieve a particular goal. When that goal is reached, there is absolutely no need for us to remain, nor does the world need us any longer. That is true for me as it is for you. We were born in this world for a certain purpose and we have to remain here as long as there is something left for us to do. But when that purpose has been achieved, we will leave this world. The time will come when we have to go. So how do we find what our goal is? How do we find the diamond? How do we find out what extraordinary people we are and what we have to go forward towards? So what do you want to be liberated from? What needs polishing? So we want liberation from the things that hold us back. <clears throat> Think of your goal. Think in terms of what holds you back, in terms of your concerns or your issues or your doubts, your attachments. Find out where the diamond is. So we'll chant for Swami Radha and her teachings in gratitude for what we've been given so generously. <clears throat> 